So, hi, I am Jessie Thompson, your nutrition and health coach. I'm co-founder of the um, Detox, as well as the Hope Beyond Fibroids Elimination Program. And I want to welcome you to the, um, our weekly free group consult. And the purpose of this session is specifically to answer um, questions for people who are embarking on a journey of healing, continue a journey of healing, trying to prevent disease, um, really shift to a, um, a, a deeper life of wellness. And um, specifically for those who are interested in the detox because it, whether you are trying to prevent disease or to cure um, a condition, the first step on that is um, really the detox, the first step in that process. And then if you're dealing with more of a chronic condition, uh, depending on what that is, I can point you in the right direction to schedule a consult with one of our, e, um, our electric health doctors. Or if it's a condition specifically that I work personally, which is the fibroids and reproductive diseases, such as fibroids, um, endometriosis, um, polycystic ovarian syndrome, infertility, um, adenomyosis, those kind of things, then... I can answer your questions about that as well, okay? So just a little bit about the ground rules. This is a sacred space. We are, this is a confidential space. Um, so we are here to support one another and, um, and give each other the time to answer the questions that you may have. And when it is time to ask questions, many will start in the chat to go ahead. So you can actually start to start posting your questions in the chat. And what I'll do is we will unmute you at the time that we get to your question. And we can have a dialogue about um, if you have a question um, and I have any questions to follow up with it to answer that. Okay, so let's get started. Let me see if there are um, any questions in the chat, first of all, first and foremost. Okay, well, I'm glad everybody can hear me, which is wonderful. Um, and let me actually, I'll pose a question to the group. Um, does anyone need clarification on the different detoxes and what they're for, or does anybody have a specific question? Okay, curious about the air fryer, would you recommend? Um, so air fryer, I actually have not used one. Um, I don't know particularly, but it's something that I can ask our team who may have done some research on that. Um, because So I, can, I don't have the answer, but I can look into it for you. But I think the bigger issue is um, just overall, you know, how your foods are being cooked. The key thing is making sure that we are preserving the nutrients in the foods um, and not cooking them to the point where we actually, um, and, and also that we're not cooking them in, in ways that add toxins to them, specifically like frying, um, like in oil, as well as um, um, depending on what, you know, spices and things we're using. So we really recommend simmering versus sauteing, baking and roasting. Um, as well as, um, of course, raw, but that's not, you know, it depends on what you want to eat, whether or not raw is best, but it can be, you know, it's a combination of those things. All right. So what program, your questions are starting. Hi, Susan. What program would be more effective and efficient for me? 30 day or 60 day program. What is entailed in each of the programs? What makes them different besides the length of time? So Susan, can we um, unmute you so that I can talk to you about your specific case? Susan? Let's see, are you there? Can you talk? Unmute yourself. Nope. Can you only talk? Let me see what you're saying here. Chlorophyll and chlorooxygen. Sure, that's there's no problem. Um, all right, Susan, can you hear me now? I just want to make sure because I had some questions in order to answer your question. You there? Let's see. Um, you can hear me. That's the good news. And. What I'm trying to see is where, here you are. Let me unmute you. Susan, can you hear me now? I just unmuted you. Susan. Susan. Okay. Well, oh, hold on. This might be you. Can you hear me now? I'm going to go ahead and kind of 
look at your case real quick, see if you did a patient profile. If you did a patient profile, that will help me to answer your questions a little bit more. Susan, bless basin there. Okay. Um, and in the meantime, if you can hear me, Susan, I recommend that you unmute so that I can answer your questions. Let's see. Okay. So in general, though, because I don't see, well, maybe you answered. Yes, I did. Okay. You can hear me, but I need to, okay, you want to ask, okay, you can respond. So let's do this. So the question is, Susan, in reference to your original question about what, what's the difference between the 30-day or the 60-day. So the 30-day detox is, um, again, it's one of our detoxes. It is something that if you're dealing with um, a condition specifically, um, it depends on what your condition is will determine if I recommend that. What is your condition, Susan? Did, if you completed the patient profile, can you tell me what email address you used? Because that will help me find your patient profile. And then I can make a recommendation based on that. You may be at work and unable to talk on the phone, but that's fine. We'll, we're going to work through it. Okay, I see your patient profile. I found it. Yep, I see it. All right. So looking at your case, you are dealing with fibroids. Okay. And you don't know the number, told several, um, you know, one big one. So you have no idea as to the size. Your four to five day cycles, heavy flow on day two and three. Um, okay. So you're dealing with fibroids. You know numerous, but you don't know how many and you are very symptomatic. All right. So based on that specific um, profile, Number one, what I would say is um, a detox is nice, but it's really just the beginning of what's going to take to actually eliminate the fibroids. So what I would recommend, depending on where you are, again, oh, it says 18 by 11. Is that in millimeters or centimeters? 18 centimeters? That's a large fibroid. I just want to make sure. Okay, so if that's the case, then I would recommend our, yep, in centimeters, okay. So then I would recommend um, our Hope Beyond Fibroids Elimination Program, Susan, and let me explain why. Because um, estrogen dominance is the root cause of fibroids, and this is, hopefully this will answer, um, several of you may have the same question, but estrogen dominance is the root cause of um, reproductive diseases such as fibroids, the inflammatory conditions that include um, endometriosis, infertility, um, polycystic ovarian syndrome, adenomyosis. And we know, we are, our team has um, studied that estrogen dominance develops in your body through three key, three key drivers, stress, diet, and pollutants. Okay. So what's happening is you have the tumors, right? You have estrogen dominance that's caused the tumor. So that's one condition. The estrogen dominance is the real condition. Fibroids are the symptoms, right? But the symptom now has created another issue, which is now it's you're more, you're symptomatic because of the condition, all right? Where you have the heavy cycles, um, you might be bordering on anemia, depending on the, the how heavy the bleeding is, okay? And the way that we address the, the fibroids. And Susan, have you listened to our testimonials? Have you gone to our testimonials page and seen that? I just want to make sure and that you've listened to our MP3. So the way that, please answer that in the, in the chat. The way that the program works is through our, the, the program is four pillars, coaching, nutrition plan, herbal supplements, and practices. Okay. And um, one second, I'm just going to mute. Think there we go, um, and the way that that actually reverses, eliminates the fibroids and, and cures the estrogen dominance is through the coaching. We teach you how to rewire the way you process stress because remember one of the key three drivers is the stress. Okay, so one of the key, because of that, what we teach you to do is to rewire the way you process your stress with the proper tools and techniques, so that when the stress, the pressure. The pressure comes on, which happens in everyday life. You have the tools and techniques to actually release it out of your body and not actually um, store it in your body. Which, again, because your body responds when you're under pressure, your body is being pumped with cortisol. That's a toxin that actually um, that actually upregulates it. It creates 
um, inflammation as well as it regulates the effect of, meaning it multiplies the effect of the toxins that are already present in your body, okay? So for instance, when I, um, the last time I had fibroids, the, the year that they actually multiplied was the most stressful year of, of just one of the most stressful years of my life. They actually tripled in size in that one year. Nothing else had changed for me except in that one year. It was a very high pressure, stressful year. And that is when they actually tripled in size. Okay. So what we want to do is number one, teach you how to rewire the way you process stress, eliminate certain stressors. And then also the coaching provides the accountability, the community, and the support for you to actually have develop a sustainable lifestyle of healing because it really is a 180 degree turn in terms of the lifestyle of healing required to heal this condition as well as reverse it. It really does require the, the support system that's needed to actually provide that accountability to the community so that you will, you will not just, when life happens, you will have a support system that helps you to, to not just go to what you normally do, but to press on in this quest and this lifestyle of healing. And then there's the nutrition plan that actually teaches you how to use your food as your medicine. Because many of the foods people don't realize, they can even say, well, I'm vegan. But guess what? Many of the vegan foods are, um, are actually estrogenic or inflammatory. And you have to make sure that you're not trading animal-based toxins for plant-based toxins. It's very important that you understand what foods actually heal you because what we're eating is actually healing or hurting us. So we want to ed educate you and empower you with a nutrition plan and that information to know how to use food as your medicine. And then there's the herbal supplements. The electric food herbal supplements are specifically designed to provide the gap in the minerals to, er to actually eradicate the estrogen dominance. And the, those supplements include the Rigidese, the Phoenix, and the essence of fertility. There are three core supplements that help to cure the estrogen dominance. And then for the larger fibroids, on, on, on top of that, we have a supplement called Fibrogen that specifically attacks the tumor. So think of it as a natural way, a natural surgery, right? It breaks down the tumor itself, while the other three supplements and the nutrition plan and the lifestyle help to cure the estrogen dominant lifestyle, okay? The estrogen dominance that's cured, that's causing it so that when you do now eliminate the fibroids, they will prevent the fibroids from returning together with the daily practices. The best analogy I could provide um, is I want you to picture the kitchen sink, okay? Kitchen sink in your house and your body represents that kitchen sink, okay? And what happens over time is that if the faucet is on and the faucet is on high and the water is actually, um, that's coming through is toxic water and your drain is actually clogged, okay? So the drain is clogged and the faucet is on high. What happens over time is that the water starts to fill the sink and then it starts to overflow. And flood, now it starts to flood your kitchen. It starts to damage your cabinets. It starts to damage your kitchen floors, etc. Well, guess what? That's what's happening in your body. It's become estrogen dominant. And then now the, the spillover is that you've developed fibroids. You've developed infl inflammatory conditions, that inflammatory condition and all the things that come with it. Okay? So what we do through the program is, number one, we turn that faucet off. First thing. And we do that through the coaching where we rewire the way you process stress, eliminate stressors, okay, as well as the accountability of the community and support to help you to have to sustain in this lifestyle of healing. Because many people can start it and then life happens and they go to what they normally do, their regular coping mechanisms, which have been feeding these diseases, feeding these negative conditions, all right? So they need the support system that's actually going to help them heal on the, from the inside out change and develop the way that they respond with a healthy way, okay? And then there's nutrition plan. So while that and the nutrition plan helps to turn the faucet off, because remember, you've been eating things that have been steadily flooding your body with estrogen. So by the coaching and the nutrition plan, we turn the faucet off. By now, you're eating foods that are only healing you, okay, that are inhibiting estrogen, not actually providing estrogen, right? And then with the herbal supplements now, but remember now, we've turned the faucet off, the sink is still full, you still have those fibroids, and it's not being eliminated because the drain is still clogged, 
right? So we have to get to the business of unclogging that drain. And the way we do that is focus specifically with the herbal supplements as well as the coaching and the nutrition plan. That actually heals the, the, the rigidity supplement. Its focus is to heal your liver optimize the function of your liver. Your liver is the master organ that is responsible for making sure that your body's eliminating toxins as well as breaking down toxins, dead cells, dead tissue, and also that it's um, dispersing, dispatching all the proper nutrients to all the organs so that they can, be, they can do their job, all right? So the Rigid D supplement, its job is to optimize the function of your liver. And then there's the um, Phoenix supplement, its job is to heighten and ensure that your body is now regenerating, replenishing, creating healthy red blood cells, okay, which is creating healthy red tissue, that it's replacing the dead cells and the dead tissue that you're eliminating with healthy, healthy red blood cells and healthy red tissue. And then there's essence of fertility supplement that inhibits the estrogen. It actually um, causes your body to um, break down estrogen, okay, so that now your body is starving the estrogen dominance is being cured and it's starving the fibroids of the estrogen that's been feeding them now if you add the the anemia is another is our natural iron supplement for our sisters who are battling anemia because of all of the bleeding they've been doing from the actual fibroids okay or the cysts or whatever the condition may be so with the actual anemia which is our natural iron supplement you can have to help to actually address the anemia issue. But then there's the fibrogen that can also be added and the fibrogen specifically will attack the larger fibroids so that they can accelerate the breaking down of the fibroids. And then that coupled with our daily practices, which include the medical qigong, the daily um, the sunlight, the proper sleep, um, there are different things that we've added in our practices that actually help to fuel the healing process. Okay, so going back to your case, Susan, um, the re I would recommend for you our Hope Beyond Fibroids Elimination Program Goal Program because the goal package includes weekly coaching. Um, it includes the WhatsApp group that specifically, um, and I'm going to actually send the package breakdown to everyone so you guys can see it. Um, one second. It includes um, the WhatsApp group. So whenever you have questions throughout the week, we together are a support system that can respond to and, and support you through when you have those Hail Marys, hey, I'm about to do something, I'm feeling sick, I'm feeling like I'm, I want to give in, all that so that you can actually be successful in this because that 18 centimeter fiber is going to take time to break down. All right. The, the detox is something that comes with the Hope Beyond. All the, the detoxes come with the Hope Beyond Fibroids Elimination Program because it's what we typically will use in that program to help women accelerate their results. OK, so that's what I would recommend for you. Um, our, our March group actually is starting in the next week or so. The group is going to get their communication today specifically to start scheduling. And because um, and we had su such a response that we actually are going to have to start multiple March groups. Um, uh, but that would be what I would recommend for you, Susan. I see a lot of questions have come into. Okay. See if Susan followed up with any other questions. Did that answer your question, Susan? Okay, great. I'm glad. Awesome. Um, and if you want to be a part of that March group, the one that I'm going to be closing out the registration for, Go ahead and email at admin at hopebeyondfibroids.com. I'll put that email for anybody who's dealing with the same issue. Admin at hopebeyondfibroids.com. And to say follow up to um, group consult, and, you, know, you know, want gold slot, and then put your email. I'll, I can send you the information. Um, but you can register right at thedetoxnow.com um, under shop. If you go to HBFE packages, you can secure a slot that way. All right, let me go back to the questions. Um, so, Natalie. Okay, Natalie, where are you? Lo Natalie, can you unmute, please? Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Great, great. Okay, so Natalie, um, did you multiply? this a few times or just this you one? yeah i sent a, a one few question messages and then yeah and then okay. follow-up question and then my actual uh sizes of my fibroids okay 
All right. So that's number one is for if you're dealing, let me look at the sizes of your fibroids. So are you Natalie's phone? Because I said there's another yes, one. Yes, Natalie's phone. Yeah, that's me. Okay, so there you're not the Natalie. There's another Natalie on here too. Okay, let me look at your questions. All right, looking at the sizes of your fibroids, okay? Four centimeter. So four centimeter, two centimeter. 4.3, and then a larger one at five. That's about four that they're seeing. What Did you complete your patient profile, Natalie? I did. Okay. Um, do you want to message me what your email address is that you use? Sure. Because I see a few different Natalies. Um, it should be. Hold on. What's your last name? Here. Stucky. Okay, I got you. I got you. All right. So, <clears throat> yeah, the largest is 5.3, four of them. Okay. So, uh, cramp, back pain, clotting. How much how severe, the severe symptoms, it, how much is it debilitating in terms of, you know, affecting your life, your life, quality of life? Uh, well, the last couple of times, it's, it's been really, really bad. Um, ended up like driving driving home crying, um, oh, couldn't move. Okay. Um, it, so then this, so that was January and then mm -hmm. I got into a car accident, but I had my, my February period and for whatever reason, my March period didn't show up. And so I think it's stress related. I'm not sure, yeah. but yes, in terms of like stressful. debilitation, I like, I can't walk. <laughs> so, mm, so, um, so, so Nat Natalie, you heard what I was saying about the goal program. There's no question yeah. for me that that's the right fit for you. Number one, because of your symptoms and because of your, um, cause we would want to accelerate your results. So mm -hmm. the, the detox would really just, I mean, we would start you with the detox in the program, but it's, it's going to take more than that to eliminate them. You know what I mean? That's what I figured. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I can tell you that, I mean, it's, it's the results that we see are phenomenal, but it takes the stick to itiveness and that's what the goal, the goal program supports, provides you the support system to do. Okay. Um, so if I did the, if I did the goal program, I wouldn't have to pay the separate 300 for the elimination or for the, the detox the detox because it's no. already included in okay yeah exactly okay okay well that makes sense um i'll probably end up uh doing that um okay so with the four that i have i mean is it likely if i stick to it and i've kind of like started a little bit of a detox myself and like i said i didn't even have my period like i've been late like three weeks mm -hmm. i started to like eliminate foods and just kind of focus on um juices like making my own juices through my juicer or whatever and smoothies my, are better than juices juices actually oh. um juices actually are, we don't recommend we only recommend juicing veg, vegetables like dandelion and and um you know things like you know you can juice veggies because yeah that's what i've so been harsh, juicing but not fruits fruits you want to blend because you ah. want to get as much of the pulp of it as possible okay i understand okay mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but but and, the, but the fresh again you're going to learn all this in the program but the fresh fruit is the best okay okay mm -hmm. so i basically have been doing that for the last two weeks because i couldn't like i'm so bloated i can't even like really eat <laughs> what, um, what fruits are you doing just curious um this morning i had pineapple with a yellow pepper and uh inch ginger and one more other oh a lemon Okay. That I, Are, is, I, it, is it organic lemon? Yes. All my I started okay. buying organic. And you should so. do sweet peppers rather than bell peppers. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Right. Sweet and peppers. um you said it was what was the first thing you mentioned? It was a pineapple. Pineapple, pineapple. is good to do in moderation. Again, okay. you can learn all of this in the program, but the point okay. is that um it's great your mindset is the is good because you're already shifting, which is great. Yeah. So, well, I was excited about it because, like I said, I did it for last week, and this week my period is trying to show up. So, I'm, 
it's giving me motivation that yeah, if I definitely of course. change the way that absolutely. I'm eating, I'll be absolutely, able to absolutely, get rid of this. no question. And I can tell you again. Have you watched the testimonials, Natalie? Yes, all yeah. weekend I've been doing. Yeah, been doing I mean those that. are real women. Those are real. <laughs> I mean, it's, there's nothing better than hearing it out of their mouths because. You know, they're women. I mean, they would tell you like literally their lives, you know, have changed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just and their lives back, you know. It so. made sense because I was talking to my sister who works in a hospital and I was, I got to a point where I was really fed up and I was like, you know, I'm just going to go have a myectomy. And for whatever reason, I stumbled upon your, what, what one of the YouTubes. And mm. I was like, oh, okay. Well, maybe that God. isn't the best. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Pretty uh, much. And so I think I'm going to um, definitely sign up for the. Awesome. Well, if you, if you. you want to be in the March one, definitely email today because I'm going to be closing out that registration. If not, okay. next goal will probably start in early May. So oh, no. I need, to, I need to start now because I had plans to run the Chicago Marathon, and I can't All right, run now. with this, this happening right now. All right. Well, definitely I, emails today. Okay. All right. Thank and, you. Uh, and if you want, you can go ahead I mean, and register because then you're already in the group once you register. Because okay. I'm closing registration out today. Okay. okay. Sounds good. All right, my dear. Um, just know this, nothing, everything in God's timing is perfect because, you know, at the end of the day, nothing happens by happenstance, you know, this never happenstance. So know that he's guiding you and leading you and directing you. Okay. Working things out for your good. All right. Who's next? Um, someone asked about side effects so here's the good news um we haven't seen side effects how the only thing we could say is that for people who um people may say like depending on how harsh your condition is or your lifestyle has been the you know, you may want to be milder in your detox or, but depending on how aggressive your symptoms are, you'll just have to bear and understand that the detox part of it will be a little rough. Um, it's not a side effect. It's a part of what the detox does, which is not fun. I love the way Dr. Amun says it. He says that toxins, which include processed sugars and alcohols and beets and meats and all the things we've been eating and um, in our lifestyles, they feel great consuming them and ingesting them and but um eliminating them is not fun so i hope that answers your question and okay and Coria. all right let's see we can finish reading everything tea tree oil is estrogenic yes spring water in the gallon plastic bar. so the spring water in the get do you want to unmute to talk I'll answer your question but you can just want to make sure spring oh, water hi spring oh, water, hi. <laughs> hey there spring water in the gallons that you yeah. see in like the grocery store is okay for um, cooking but it's not oh. for drinking okay for drinking because the water that you drink is like 50% like the importance is 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 is, is very important what you're drinking okay Water is so important because our bodies are what more than 70% water. What the water we drink is critical, and we recommend um, high it's mineral, it's spring water, fresh spring water. But what determines whether or not it's good spring water is where it's been bottled that it's from running brooks, like from mountains, from streams. Okay, so the water that we've so far, what we recommend now is Icelandic glacial, Icelandic spring, Evermore. Um, also, um, I think Avion is out there. It's not the top, but it's okay. Um, and then Essentia is oak. It's it's not spring water. It's alkaline water. It's man-made alkaline water, but it's not bad. It's just not as good as those other waters. Because what alkaline, um, what excuse me, what natural spring water does is it's alkaline by nature, meaning it's it is perfectly balanced for us by nature because of um the fact that it's running moving water okay so i'm going to put those waters in here so it's icelandic is that a brand glacial yep icelandic oh. glacial iceland iceland spring evermore 
um, Zephyr Hills for people down south. And um, Essentia, but that's not spring water. Um, Ev um, Avion, again, but the better ones are the ones that are first listed. That's, here's the deal. They, it makes all the difference in terms of your healing process, what you're drinking. Okay. okay, so the the water that I've been getting from like Whole Foods, they have this machine and it's like reverse osmosis or alkaline water. Is that not? No, I wouldn't do that drinking? because it dep it's, you have to think about what the source is. They're starting with tap water. Okay, uh -huh. so they're starting with tap water. That's water that, number one, you don't know that it's been tested for, for high um, metals. Okay, so you don't know what metals may be in it, number one. So you want to ask that question. But bigger, bigger than that is the fact that usually when it comes from those machines, they're just alkalizing what's there. So you don't know what's missing from that water, meaning if water is um, H2O, right? So it can be, um, if, it's, if it's bulk water that they started with, usually it's been stripped to begin with of, um, it's been stripped, so it's one part, it's not the two parts, okay? So the negative and the positive. So typically speaking, that water is, it's, is typically garbage. Right. Oh. That's why natural spring water is better because it's actually fresh water, but it's water that's bottled at the source of a mountain, of a running brook, a running stream where the water, you know, stagnated water is gets disease, but running water is the water that's healthy. Okay. Okay. And just because it has a high pH doesn't mean it's healthy because there's this whole trend around alkaline. Okay. Right. And alkaline is good as long as number one, you can't it can't be too high. Because our body is around seven, right? So you want to keep it close. Eight is cool. Seven, eight is cool. As long as the water is actually bottled, um, it's natural spring water, all right? Because if it's coming from tap and they're trying to, it's, it's sort of like making it good water, right? See what I'm saying? And you don't know what they did actually if it's been, if it has, you don't know if it has, you know, heavy metals and that's a, a major toxin. Okay, and you said so tea tree oil is not a good thing to use. It's inflammatory. Mm. Well, what do you use it for? Like sometimes, I guess like for yeast infections or something like that, I would, mm. I, yeah, I was using that for a while. So. Well, but here, here's the deal. When you're, what, what, pro, what are you starting? What program are you starting? Well, I purchased the, um, the, I think the four ounce kit. Okay, um, great. That's going to take care of. Now, that's going to take care of a yeast infection. Now, if you have a bacteria infection that is more, that requires more than that, I would recommend getting our supplement called Parafite, P-A-R-A-F-I-T-E. And it's on the detoxnow.com under the electric food supplements. That right. will kill any parasite that may be, or, you know, or living bacteria that it, that's actually causing the candida. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was having that issue, like I the candida issue last year. Mm -hmm. But I guess I'm just like, as I was reading the book, I'm just kind of discovering that that's all related to the estrogen dominance, because yep. I was only focused on that. So yep. when I was doing like the candida diet, it was all like, I had started eating meat again. Because that was a part of the, <laughs> the diet that I did. Yeah. So, it's After a lot of, I, unfortunately, misinformation out there. Yeah. That's why so, we just want to educate you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all starting to come together, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it will. Believe me. And then once you, you know, again, do, do you, let me ask you about your bowel movements. Are your bowel movements regular? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what do they look like? Are they solid or are they scattered, typically speaking? Um, I, solid. I never really had an issue with that. It's just like okay, cool. the, the reason because I was going to say you might need the sweeper, but then you don't need the sweeper. Then what you really, it's just, I would say whether or not you needed the digestive um, supplement as well. That's called uh -huh. the sweeper, but paraphyte, okay. I would do the, I would do the fibroid elimination kit, but add the paraphyte to it because you, what kind of fibroids do you have? What do you mean? What kind? I don't well, know. how many, um, I mean, sizes, number. Oh, anything. um, I I don't know exactly, but I do have multiple. And within the past year, I I got more than what I had when I got checked the last time. I can't gotcha. even remember how many it is. Okay. Well, I would start with the kit. And we, again, we have the coaching circle to support you um, because it's going to be tough, you know, um, if you need some Yeah, support. what is the 
coaching because with the kid there the coaching is not like included in that right because no. that's what i was wondering about so right so what we did is so in the goal program which if people have the budget for it that's fine because it includes the weekly coaching the whatsapp group all of that but with the mm -hmm. coaching circle it's more of a modified version of the coaching meaning it's not every single week but you have the support system with the accountability all of that is if you go to the detox now it breaks down the coaching circle but you have packages where you could do it on a month-to-month -month basis um again it's it's if your case was more severe you got to start where you are right here's the deal and if if for you you're like i'm going to start it and see how i do right but because if you're not at the point where a you know, I can I can't only make a what you say you got to make a dollar out of fifteen can't make a dollar out of fifteen cents, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to start where you are. So the, that's why the fiber elimination kit is good because you can start where you are. You can add a coaching circle like a on a month to month or two month, three month, whatever that works for you budget wise, okay? And um, and you'll have support. You know, you'll have a, a form of support that way. Okay. Okay. Um, just another quick question. The sure. I'm supposed to start this week because I got my supplements awesome. in the mail, but there was something, another supplement, I can't even remember the name. It begins with a C that I was to start the 14 day. Oh, the Chloriox, Chloriox-oxygen? Yeah. Oh. Is that something that I'm supposed to, do well, I need to get that separately you, you to ordered, start it? You ordered the fibroid elimination kit or you ordered the Chloriox, the, um, the Detox 14? the fiber elimination kit okay yeah so then the the chloroxygen is not included in that you just you can get that at a whole foods amazon.com chlor oxygen is the electric food brand of chlorophyll it's a wild chlorophyll supplement there's one called chloroxygen that's available pretty much everywhere um and you can get it usually at a whole foods you can walk in and get it there so that's oh. why it's, it's not an exclusive supplement we have a version that's ours that you can get from us but you can get that anywhere okay okay and the reason you would do that a it's good to have as part of the overall lifestyle but then also if you're going to accelerate it by starting with the detox 14 um you would need it for that okay and the the um the order of the i guess the detox and then i think the reassimilation and then the elimination diet is it is it meant to just go in that order yeah or is it, supposed it would to, okay. be if you're going to do detox 14 you do detox 14 then you do reassimilation then you do the elimination to continue to to work on the fibroids but the key thing is understanding those meal plans except for the reassimilation you need to follow you want to follow that okay, okay. like schedule whereas the um the 30-day elimination meal plan is really options like it's not it's day one you have to eat this day two, two you have to eat this because quite frankly some people like to cook something different every day. Me, mm -hmm. I like to know what's a go-to for me. You know what I mean? Like for me, my breakfast is simple. Cut a cantaloupe in half, scoop out the seeds, put in a three tablespoons of hemp seeds or pumpkin seeds um, and eat away. Simple. I don't have to think about it. It's in my, I don't have to plant. It's easy. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. water. Cantaloupe is one of the best things you can eat every day. Honey, dew, cantaloupe, black seeded, watermelon, mango, kiwi, any of those water-based fruits. Oh, okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's see whose question is next. Um, I think I just answered the question about chlorophyll versus chlorioxygen. Chlorophyll is actually the, the, the actual plant, right? It's the actual mineral. And um, chlor chlorioxygen is just the electric food brand of it. Um, chloroxygen is another brand of it. Those are the two that we recommend. Okay. Um, Manuka honey should be grade 24 and above. 24 and above from Manuka honey. And you can get it from, don't get it from stores because they will, like you'll be paying $70, $80 for a jar of honey. Get it from manukadoctor.com. And this is not our company. It's just a brand that we like. It's not expensive. It's actually less expensive than the others. It's cheapest, but it's good. It's the, like one of the best. So manukadoctor.com, you can get um, 24 grade plus at manukadoctor.com or at Amazon. They do it too, and it's the same price. And if you're on Prime, you get it in two days. Um, Sheila, you want to unmute yourself? Sheila, is there something I can do to hopefully eliminate the existing fibroids that are less than two centimeters located in the wall of the uterus? 
Okay. I'll chat. Okay. So you have to chat. All right, no problem. So the key thing, um, number one, is understand that IVF, are you doing a natural cycle or are you doing it with the injections for IVF? Please answer. If you can mute, I mean, with the injections. Okay. So understand that that's going to be be pumping your body with estrogen. So that's going to cause the fibroids to grow, okay, because of the, the estrogen that you're pumping your body with and the synthetic progesterone through the IVF process, all right? So we would recommend you don't do the supplements while you're in IVF. You can resume them after you, you know, you get pregnant. Now, you can do this. I mean, you're already in process for IVF, but you can actually. Did you, did you already start the injections or where are you in the process? Yes, you already started the injections. Okay, so I wouldn't do any of the supplements until afterwards because you would be counteracting. It would be inhibiting estrogen, but they're actually using estrogen to actually um, to stimulate your follicle development. All right, so, right. So do it afterwards because what you want to do is break that estrogen down afterwards. Now, you absolutely can do the supplements while pregnant. They're very, in fact, they will help, max, um, help maximize your pregnancy as well as the health of the baby. We just had uh, a, a, a HBFE miracle baby born just last week. We'll be sharing information about it. Um, and, you know, um, another one's on the way. There are hope mommies out there. But letting you know that the, um, the only thing that we would do is, you know, you would follow the elimination meal plan, probably up the increase of avocados and coconuts, just the healthy fats, um, and follow the, 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 the entire program. You just, that's what would happen. And we would probably increase your essence of fertility dosage because in pregnancy, your body creates more of a specific um, estrogen because you have the estrogen receptors in there. So what you want to do is increase your essence of fertility so that it will um, inhibit the estrogen more, but increase the progesterone, which you actually need for a healthy pregnancy, healthy delivery, healthy baby. Okay. So I think I answered your question, right, Sheila? And once you achieve pregnancy, then you would go full. If you're going to nurse, you would still do the program, but you wouldn't do um, the, you would do the fruit fast as part of the detox versus um, versus the actual liquid fast because you need it you, you would need to keep your energy up for for nursing you would still do the whole well let me see what's your have did you do a patient profile sheila i just want to look at your case again give me your email address that you use to complete your patient profile please chat that to me let me see Thank you, just sent it to me. Okay, hold on a second. I'm just taking a look at your patient profile, okay? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Here you are. Yeah, so I would do, you said there's several, there, how many several are you speaking of? Like five, like 10, how many several? Less than two centimeters. Sheila, are you typing? How many, I'm, I'm looking at your case. It says several less than two centimeter fibroids. Well, I would recommend because, you know, they're, they're smaller, you could, do the, um, you could do the fibroid elimination kit once you're ready to start eliminating. Um, I'm looking at your symptoms though. Not sh totally sh for sure, very small in the wall. Okay, so then, yeah, uh, continuous bleeding as well, getting ready to start. Continuous bleeding, are you anemic? No, okay, that's good. All right, so I would do the, I would definitely do right now just um, transitioning to vegan would just be healthy for you and the bait, you know, you and the IVF process eating things like mango, like zucchini, like raw organic pumpkin seeds that increase your progesterone, cause your body to increase your progesterone. Um, 
Um, and then I would also make sure you can download our Life After Detox food list. If you haven't, you should have it by now from the, the detoxnow.com. And then <clears throat> follow those kind of foods. And then when you're ready to, after the IVF process and you've achieved pregnancy, um, then you would start get the Hopion Fibroids Elimination Toolkit and get the Fibroid Elimination Toolkit and start, the, start eating from the elimination meal plan and continue from there. Okay, Sheila, did I answer your question? Okay, great. All right, let's see who is next. Going back up. Thanks for your patience, everybody. You know what? I need to unmute everybody for a second. Y'all too quiet. Can I just hear your voices? Hello? Is everybody here? Are y'all just listening <laughs> intently? Hello. <laughs> okay, awesome. Let me see who the question is next. I have... Um, I'm going to mute you guys back because there's some background noise. Um, all right, so that was Sheila. Mm, Diane, five fibroids the size of a large P, so that's less than two centimeters, right? Um, olive and lemon. Oh, one the size of a large P, and olive and a lemon is a larger one, which is more like like five six actually maybe five to seven centimeters okay so diane diane can you unmute let's see where you are here let's see if i can find you diane there you are okay diane can you hear me yes Awesome. Okay. So Diane, I just want to see, did you complete your patient profile? Yes. What's your last name? Cord, um, I think it's Di D. Wait a minute. G, G Diane 69 at gmail.com. D D I N E 69. Is that correct? You want to yeah. chat, chat me the email address because I think I'm missing something. What's the last name? What just give me your last name? Gordon. G-O-R-D-O-N. Okay, I see you here. And you definitely completed the patient profile? Yeah, I got okay. emails from you. Okay, no, that's good. So I, what's the email address? Because it just, it's, it, it can just be, sometimes it pulls it up by email. G-D. Oh, I, had, I, I told you I had something wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's why I say chat it because I, I had the wrong first letter. I thought you said okay. D, like David, David. No. Why, you only use your first name. You didn't put your last name in the patient profile. That's why no. I was calling you up. Okay. All right. Um, five fibroids, moderately symptomatic, three days heavy bleeding. Um, and you're saying the smallest one is about the size of a P, a large P. Yes. The largest one. Mm -hmm. My doctor said that the, the size were um, the, a large pea, mm -hmm. a large olive, and a lemon. Yeah, how many are the lemon size? Because that's about seven. No, seven there's seven. a total of five. So I was at work, and she left me a voice message. So mm -hmm. I wasn't really able to talk to her. She left you then a voice message? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm a receptionist. So I couldn't talk, and I really wanted to know the size. Uh -huh. Gotcha, gotcha. So you told her to leave it. Okay. Yeah. So what is your question again? What program? Yeah, it's best for me. For Well, they're smaller, which is, yeah. you know, the lemon is not so much, but the other two yeah. are, are pretty small. I would start mm -hmm. with the detox, um, the fiber elimination kit, the four ounce kit. Okay. That's what I would do. Um, okay. And how disciplined are you? What kind of support system do you have? Um, I, I actually, I'm very good. I'm, you know, I'm very spiritual. I'm, you know, a positive, very a positive person. I, I, I consider myself very positive. I have supports. My sister, actually, I started actually eating better. I actually eliminated meat from my, um, 
Awesome. from my menu. Um, and I'm actually doing good, you know. I'm, yeah. I, th- I, was, I was a vegetarian back in the past with my, before my dad passed away. But, of course, I bounced back to, you know, eating meat because I went to church. And, you know, the church says, blessing in Jesus' name. <laughs> I don't know. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to educate the church about that. <laughs> Got to be Christian and woke, yeah. Yeah. spiritual and woke. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I would say the fiber elimination kit, the four ounce. Um, if it was more than one, the size of the of the um, lemon, I would say you would want to do probably you know maybe the silver at least because mm-hmm. you have more of the supplements in the support system. But I would start with the fiber elimination kit, and if you okay. need the support system, we have the coaching circle that you can sign up to. Um, okay. But that's what I would recommend, and I would start with the detox, um, your, your symptoms are not so aggressive. I would just start with the elimination meal plan. I would not do okay. transition. Now, if you want to transition, give yourself more time. You can use transition for six days or you can do transition for 30 days. Really, you're going to pace yourself because it's on your own time. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Who's next? Moving right along. I'm going to mute you back, Diane. Great talking to you. All right, Natalie McClendon. Natalie, do you, I see, oh, okay, now I see you alone. Let me, can I unmute you, Natalie? Looks like you're unmuted. Natalie, can you speak or does it have to be via chat? Natalie? Let's see if you responded. Yes. Yes, you needed to. Okay, hold on. Let me. Okay, not sure. All right, so we're going to chat. All right. What? Let me pull up your patient profile. Can you please give me your email address? By chat, you can chat it to me if you want. Okay. And then I'll go back and look at your. I see you came into the messages a few times. But let me just pull up your profile because it may give me everything I need there. I'm just re looking at your patient profile in a moment. Four months. Um what do you mean by there's no count of your fibroids? It says just multiple. Did they not count it in your last sonogram? So many. Okay. Um, but they can't count. Okay. All right. And let me just look at your other messages so that I'm answering everything. There you are. Okay. So now, it, okay, right. It measures the 16 weeks. They're affecting your bladder, anemic. Hmm, so sorry, you're going through that. No soy products are to be used whatsoever. All soy is estrogenic. All of them. Tempeh. All of them. Um, I recommend for you... Natalie, I absolutely recommend the Gold Program for you because of how numerous your fibroids are. Um, Why can't you talk? I'm not sure. It sounds like it's your connection because you're not muted on my end. Let me see. Yeah, you're not muted on my end over here, so I'm not sure. But I definitely recommend... um, the goal program for you. Do you want to dial in by phone? Natalie, that might help you. Sure. Okay, hold on a second. Um, I think that information is... Let me see. It's in here somewhere in this invitation. Uh, Yeah. There you go. Somebody else said they'll join by phone too. 
Yeah, I'm actually going to put it in the chat for everybody, for anybody who's having technical issues. Here, this information includes phone dial-in. So if you want, Natalie, what I'll do is I'll come back to you once you're back on. But, um, oops. Okay, you screen sharing, Natalie. So, well, you have to exit screen sharing or else we, hold on a second, let me see what I can do here. Um, there we go. All right, I got it now. Okay, so um, there we go. So I'm going to wait till you dial back in, Natalie, because I'm not sure that I can't hear you. I can tell you looking at your case, I definitely recommend the gold program, but I'll give you the chance to talk back um, when you dial in. Just um, chat me. And say it's you. Um, zone three, Nicole. Nicole, oh. interested in fibroid elimination program. One second. Second. I'm gonna mute. There we go. Okay. So, Nicole, it says you're interested in the fibroid elimination program. What factors require to escalate and take the additional fibrogen supplement? Okay. Nicole, can you unmute? Hello. Hi there. Hi. Hey. Okay. So the case where we would recommend you do the fibrogen is number one, um, if you have larger or numerous fibroids and um, to help to actually accelerate your results. Okay. Um, okay. Secondly, if you are very symptomatic and are trying to accelerate your results to feel better sooner. Okay. Um, well, because sometimes the size of the fibroids specifically is what's causing some of the symptoms. Sometimes the estrogen dominance is causing the symptoms and without the fibrogen, the result, the, the symptoms actually change drastically. But again, it depends on the case of your fibroids. And um, do you, did you complete a patient profile where I can look at your case? I did. Okay. What's I your, do you want to chat me your email? Yeah, I can. I think. <laughs> okay, I'm sending it to you. Okay. All right. There we go. Look it up real quick. Okay. Okay, I see you. All right. So, it's two around eight centimeters. Okay. And that was um, almost two years ago. Two years ago. I haven't been back for. I would recommend uh, looking at your symptoms. Constant discomfort, heavy cramping, and fatigue. Well, <clears throat> is there any bleeding? Yeah, pretty heavy bleeding, um, but it's only for about two days. My periods probably last about five days. Like okay. real heavy, about two how, days. Is, how heavy is the heavy? Are you changing? What are you using and how often are you changing? Um, I usually use a menstrual cup every day and then uh, All right, so stop using the cups that's number one you don't want anything that goes up there to actually because it what it does is it, it it's a toxic situation all right okay. you don't want to use tampons you don't want to use any cups you want to use just actual natural um natural pads meaning there are a lot of brands out there there's um some people like honey pot some people like cherish there's a whole bunch of brands that so you're gonna have to find what feels comfortable for you but they're natural cotton because the commercial ones out there, like always, and all of them, they have actual dyes and toxins in them that increase the bleeding, okay? Um, so that's one thing. And, and, and that's going to help as well, all right? But, so it won't exacerbate the situation. But go ahead. I usually, I have natural pads that I use that's like in addition to the cup. And so if I wasn't using the cup, I'd probably have to change them probably every two hours. Okay, so that is heavy bleeding. Um, so, I mean, to be honest, 
we're not supposed to bleed any more than about three tablespoons. So, and it's about three days. So most women do not have that experience. Most, most women have irregular periods, but we've been taught that that's not irregular. You know, our definition of normal has been warped. Um, so with that being the case, you're symptomatic, definitely. You're um, dealing with fibroids that are eight centimeters, pretty large. Um, just two of them, but you're symptomatic. So with that being the case, I would probably recommend the, um, the fiber elimination um, silver package for you okay. because it has, it's going to take consistency with the fibrogen because it's going to take time to break those down because they are larger. Um, but your body may, you know, respond quickly, which everybody's body is different, but it's definitely going to be more than, you know, a detox. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely going to be more than a detox. And the reason I said silver is because you also, it'll, you'll have the support system of, um, of the, the, what you call it, the, you know, virtual support as well as Q and A calls, um, with me and the doctors. So okay. that's, that's what I would recommend for you. And if I could, I, I had an additional question in the chat. I'm just curious about the timing of the calls because I understand for the fiber elimination and definitely in the severe cases, you probably will, are going to start with a detox first. Mm -hmm. um, so would you, do you kind of set the timing of those calls after you complete the detox or? Well, no, for the silver group, we have, you know, they're, the, they're not a rigid schedule because it's really kind of on, it's a guided on your own, right? Okay. The goal program is different because the goal is structured, meaning we start, like the March group is going to start in a few weeks, not, not a few weeks, actually, but it'll probably start next week. Um, but the point is that's a structured guided schedule. See what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So the silver, you would kind of join in when it's, you do it, you would do it on your schedule. But if you want, again, we do have, um, for like, if you feel like you gotta know yourself, you're like, you know what? I know I'm going to fall off. I need the more rigid support system then you could do the gold. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, let me go back to questions. Thank Tawana. Now, Tawana, can you unmute? Tawana? Yes. Hi. Yeah, can you hear me? Hello. I, I, did you send several different messages? I want to make sure I'm getting all, I, I see several different messages from you. Is that correct? Yeah, on the chat okay. to okay. everyone. Okay, cool. So let's just answer your questions. Number one, you absolutely can take the supplements while pregnant. In fact, they help many of our sisters. And we just got another pregnancy, positive pregnancy yesterday <laughs> while getting pregnant, you know, on the program, which is great. Because the program support it helps to heal infertility as well, and it helps to promote healthy, healthy um, pregnancy and birth and life after. That's yes, absolutely. Um, you do not have fibroids, but you suffer from PCOS, which is also an estrogen dominant um, Wait, condition. Wait, what happened? You said no. I do have fibroids. I don't know what the other thing you just said is though. Okay, it says so. Oh, that's a Tawanda. Okay, yeah. got it. I see. All right. Thank you for that. Uh, so did I answer all your questions, Tawana, then? Yeah. Oh, no, there's another one from you. Um, I'm, you're pregnant. Congratulations. That's awesome. Black beans, um, only black turtle beans are good. Okay. Yeah, black turtle beans, organic black turtle beans. I wouldn't get what they just call black beans. Um, you do have fibroids? Yeah, I have okay. one the size of my ovary and then two small ones, probably like maybe, I didn't see the exact size, but probably in between a pea and a grape. Okay, yep. So what I would recommend for you, um, I would get the fibroid elimination kit, okay? And I the four ounce, and I would actually start um, from the elimination meal plan okay a from that and the regeneration or it's also called the life after detox meal plan up your intake of avocados of zucchini of mango organic um, shell pumpkin seeds 
Um, those are very high progesterone builders, um, as well as you might want to take an extra dose of the essence of fertility. So you may, you know, you are, you may take three doses of the entire supplements. So now, um, so what you'll do, so when you do that, you'll, you'll further inhibit the estrogen and increase the progesterone, which helps with the pregnancy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then when you are, after you've given birth, to your lovely mango or avocado is what we call them. Um, you will then probably do, you know, you'll, if you're nursing, you just continue just doing the program as you're doing it because it's going to further inhibit it because now your body won't be also because your estrogen receptors continue to produce estrogen. So that will accelerate your healing. You could do the detox 30 at that time. I wouldn't do the 14 if you're nursing. If you are not nursing, then you can do the detox 14, but you'll have a newborn, so I would probably do the detox 30 and stick with the fruit. Okay? okay. Yeah, I'll be doing the 30 then because I definitely plan to nurse. Cool. Yeah, that's going to be great for you and the baby. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate your time. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, all right, now let me go to Tawanda, I think is next. Yes, Tawanda. Can you speak? Yes, I can. Sorry, it's loud. I'm a teacher. I'm standing in the hallway. So I oh. Gotta love, that house so gotta love the kids. Gotta love the kids. Okay. You do not have fibroids. You suffer from PCOS. Yes. You've been monitored for cysts in a while, but suffering from male pattern baldness. And that is my biggest issue. That is my biggest concern. The, the baldness? Okay. Yes. Um, well, that's an estrogen thing. That's a major estrogen thing. Okay. Okay. So you've ordered the 14-day detox. Um, I would actually, I have to see, but I would actually upgrade you to, I would say to do the, the fibroid elimination kit, okay, the detox, the, um, with the four-ounce one, because okay. what you want to do is actually cure the estrogen dominance, and you want to accelerate it. So I would start with the detox 14. Now, what you could do is do the detox 14, get that, and then get the fibroid elimination. Um, kit afterwards, but it's just that the fiber elimination kit comes with the detox 14. So I would do that. You know what I'm saying? What, which one is the kit? Fiber elimination kit, four ounce. What's that, the 30 days? No, it's, well, it, it should last you about four ounce. So you're saying once the finish of 14, go back and order the, the four ounce. Well, if, then you could just order the supplements, yeah. But it's actually, you get the better pricing if you just get, you cancel the Detox 14. Which Did you receive your supplements already? No, I just did it last week. Okay, so, yeah. The time time yeah, so, so guess what? If you ordered it last week, it takes a few days for your, for your, sup, for your, um, for your, your payment to even process because of the credit card company, right? And then from okay. there, I can check to see. Send me an email to say, please. Uh -huh. They've already been processed. It's already clear. The payment yeah. Clear. So the payment clears on your end, but it doesn't mean that the funds have been released on our end. You know what I'm saying? Because the credit, the credit card company does it on your end, but it doesn't mean that the funds have been released to our account yet. Because of the credit okay. Company on our end. So if you would want, what you can do is we can refund you for the Detox 14 and uh -huh. process um, the uh, fiber elimination kit four ounce if you want um but that's up to you i mean either way you're going to start with the 14 it's just that you're getting a better price if you do the fiber elimination kit because the detox 14 is already included and you're getting double the supplements okay so okay, okay. so could so, we do the, the, the refund and then i go back and then change it right if that's what you want send me an email saying i was on the consult say please um, want to upgrade put in your subject line Please upgrade from Detox 14 to Fiber Elimination Kit 4 ounce. Okay? okay. And what is the difference in pricing? Because I'm sorry, I don't have that in front of me. Um, I actually, hold, hold on a second. Let me look it up for you. I want to say the Detox 14 is three something, and I want to say that the Fiber Elimination Kit is like 460, something like that. Okay. Um, okay. okay. Okay, and send you an email saying that. And if I send it to the admin at Hope Beyond. Well, admin at, you could do admin at, admin at, well, hold on, let me send it to everybody. I was about to send it to the wrong person. Okay. Admin at hopebeyondfibroids.com. Okay? Okay. So, and since put in the subject line, want to upgrade. Mm -hmm, from Detox 14 to Fibroid Nation Kit. 
And then the other okay. thing that's really good to stimulate hair growth, fresh lemon, fresh squeezed lemon, massaging that into your scalp, organic fresh squeezed lemon, morning, okay. morning and night. Okay. Okay. Um, that's a very good to help stimulate follicle. But again, the estrogen dominance is the bigger thing. And that's what the, the plan is going to um, help to reverse. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I think that, and then I put in there a couple of things. I, um, some of the, the products that I use that I've got from Sephora has like honey in it or maple. Wait, hold so on. Let, let, let me look at your questions. Um, opening to these things in spring break. Okay. When is spring break? Like two weeks? Yes. The last week okay. of March. All right. You need to send so that. I wasn't one. sure. You know what though? Let me look at based on what I'll do is I'll look at in the in the in the email you send put timing is critical because I want to do it during spring break. Okay. And then I'll tell you whether or not we should just keep going with the detox fourteen or change. Okay. 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 Um. Uh, what was your next question? Hold on. Should we clean fruit and vegetables in baking soda? Natural baking soda, yes, it's good to clean it in. Um, what I use, actually, we want to get organic as well, but on top of that, what I use is I get um, fruit, food grade. There's actually a, a YouTube video I did on grocery shopping. Um, okay. Watch that. It's at um, Jesse, G-E-S-S-I-E TV. Um, you can also access it from fibroidstips.com because it'll get you to the same website, the same URL. Um, okay. But you get food grade hydrogen peroxide, and the way you you can put that in a spray bottle is like that you make it, you dilute it, one ounce of the fiber, um, the hydrogen peroxide, the food grade with um, eleven ounces of spring water. That together, you can use that to spray and clean your fruits and veggies. Okay. Okay. Um, you had another question though. You said something. Facial products have maple and honey. Honey um, that they usually put in beauty products is unless it's manuka honey, I wouldn't do it. Okay. okay. And maple is not. It's maple syrup is toxic because of the process that by which it's made. So I would say no to that. Um, and then a lot, a lot of beauty products have aloe. Try to minimize that because aloe is, is estrogenic. Yes, I was drinking aloe, so I watched one of the videos where the doctor said yeah. that was a no. Yeah, definitely. Okay? Okay. Did that okay, answer so all your questions? You yes, it did. And so I will send you an email um, as well as with the time. Um, yep. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right. I'm going to mute you back. All right, then we have, who's next? Somebody else has noise in the background. Okay, I think I just muted it. All right, next is Natasha, I wanna say. Oh, nope, nope, sorry. I think I missed, oh, Adrian, do we have, to detox. Adrian, do you want to unmute? Ad Adriana, excuse me, Adriana. Unmute. Do we have to detox or just go into vegan lifestyle and make to make necessary changes to shrink or eliminate fibroids? Um, I have over 10, but the doctor sent the main seven and their sizes a week ago. Largest is 10 centimeters to stopping fertility. According to the doctor, I do not want surgery and prefer to be proactive research in fibroids juicing guys. Okay. What email address did you use for your patient profile, Adriana? So I can pull it up. Filtered water is just it's starting with the wrong water. It's starting with tap water. So no, it's not good. Mm -hmm. Okay, Adriana, what email? Um, cleaning fruits and vegetables, I would recommend spring water, not distilled. Distilled water actually is completely stripped of vitamins and minerals. So I would, but, but this distilled water is to be used with the, um, H2, with the hydrogen peroxide, then it becomes mineralized. Okay. But 
if you're using just water with the baking soda, I would probably use the bottled spring water. Not the one that you drink, but the one that you sell at the gallon in the grocery store. Um, Natalie, you asked if you start in this month in March, will you get your supplements in time? Yeah, well, here's the deal. You're going to start, whether or not you have the supplements, you're going to start with the changing of the diet. So we're going to start right away. Everybody who's in it doesn't necessarily have their supplements yet. But yes, you will start and you'll get your supplements and then you'll accelerate it from there. I'm trying to, Adriana, what's your email address so I can see your, oh, there it is. Sorry, you did send it. It was further down. Can you unmute or do you have to just chat? Let me see. Maybe I need to unmute you. Yeah. Adriana, can you hear me? I think I yes, I can hear you. Okay. There we go. And I unmuted you. Um, I don't see your patient profile. Let me see. What's your last name? Turner, T U R N E R. Oh, here it is. You just didn't use your last name. Okay. Um, oh, maybe not. Adriana85 at SBC Global? No. It should be AD Turner. No, no, that's not you. There's another Adriana. It's not you. Okay. Well, maybe they're Adrian. I'm Adriana. Adriana. Okay, I'm so sorry, Adriana. But it's A D R I E N N A, right? Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Adrena. I actually did it last Monday. Okay. Let's, put, let's just try to find it. And definitely use that email, right? Correct. Okay. The thing about technology, sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. <laughs> Okay, so I see where you signed up for this session, but I'm not, I'm not seeing your patient profile. But it's okay. We, we have you on the phone, so we're going to talk through it, okay? I apologize. I'm not sure why it's not showing up, but as I said, we're on the phone. We're on the session. That's what's most important. So looking at your first message, I think, is where you hear. Okay. Oh, there's several messages from you, it looks like. Okay, your, so your question was, do you have to detox or just go into the vegan lifestyle, right? So how many are you yeah. dealing with and what sizes? You said the largest is 10, and the doctor uh -huh. said about seven. The main ones are mm -hmm. main, seven main ones, and I guess there are some smaller, uh, smaller ones. Um, that being the case, um, I, I would definitely say – um, I don't know what your symptoms are, okay? Are you mm -hmm. dealing with a lot of are you severe symptoms or is it really just you're trying to, you know, eliminate them to prevent getting to symptoms? Um, I just noticed over the past year it, it's gotten worse to whereas I had to have them check it out. Of course, they recommended surgery or hysterectomy, but I told them no. At this time, I still want to keep my fertility Mm -hmm. I've always had heavy menstrual periods. I've always had cramps, but it's gotten much worse. Right. Um, I find myself changing the pads those first two days, maybe every 30 minutes. Uh, a lot of times it bleeds that's, out where it yeah, that's spills out the entire underwear, goes past the uh, panties, blood clots come out. Um, and then just extreme cramping where sometimes I have to double over, put heating pads. Uh, things of that nature. And then we also realized that one of the fibroids is on my bladder. So I find myself using the restroom quite frequently from time mm -hmm. to time when it is pressing. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, the doc, I finally got a doctor that not only did the MRI recently, but she really didn't feel comfortable actually doing the surgery. So I was glad for her hesitance because that gave me an option to research further, come across your YouTube videos, mm -hmm. and now I'm reading books on it as a whole to try to heal it uh, to where it's not serious. But she was looking at removing only two of them, mm -hmm. and I have like over 10, she stated. Multiple of them are in the uterus. They're very small. Mm -hmm. But again, she did send me the main 10, and the two that she's looking at mm -hmm. are the ones that may be causing uh, infertility. Okay. 
So there's a couple of things. One, um, I saw your other messages about, you know, there are a lot of claims out there in terms of programs. Um, there are a lot of supplements out there that, you know, have a lot of claims. And honestly, we can't speak to any of that because, you know, we, they're not our protocols. I can only speak to right. what I've seen, what we do and what we know works. Um, so uh -huh. you can, you know, if you haven't, I'm sure you've probably seen some of our testimonials at this point because of the research you've been doing. Um, so have, have you watched our testimonials? I just want to make sure. Yeah. Yes. I watched quite a few and I've even okay. watched, uh, Steph Aki. Okay. Uh -huh. Good. Okay. So the key thing for us is um, because we understand our, your, your other question was how do they grow back? Well, so the woman who went to a vegan lifestyle, vegan does not necessarily mean estrogen free. Okay. And this mm -hmm. is why our key thing is equipping you and, and, and um, educating you about what foods are actually electric, what foods actually drive your health. What, so that remember I said earlier that the nutrition plan is, teach, is teaching you how to use your food as your medicine so that the foods that you're eating mm -hmm. are only healing, not healing and hurting, only healing you. Okay. And mm -hmm. that's critical because there are foods we don't want to, many people go, they go vegan, but they're really just trading animal based toxins for plant based toxins because they're eating soy and tempeh and a lot of even plant based, you know, veggies and fruits and that are estrogenic because they're, because they're hybrids, you know, they're, they're eating mm -hmm. spinach and strawberries and, you know, conventional right. bananas and things that are pumping their bodies still with, you know, phytoestrogens, um, aromatase, all of that. Okay. And mm -hmm. so for us, our key thing is number one, providing you the support system to create a, a sustainable lifestyle of healing because there's a journey ahead. All right. That's going to require consistency um, that's going to require um, you to, to actually transition to a lifestyle of healing and not just be doing something like a 30 day program. You know what I'm saying? The reason our 90 day wow. program really is a transition to a lifestyle. We call it our boot camp to transition to a lifestyle of healing. Will you see shrinking, shrinkage and elimination in that period? Absolutely. But understand that it's a lifestyle because if you didn't and you're like, well, as long as it's a plant, it's okay. Well, guess what? People will say vegan <laughs> Oreos are vegan, or, but they're full of toxins. You see what I'm saying? Like you, that's why the label vegan is not what's most important to us. Really, is that, are they electric foods? Now, all animal-based products, meaning like meats, are inflammatory. So we do say no, you know, we help you understand what foods are inflammatory and what foods actually are driving your health, okay? And, you know, with, with everything for us, our program is very comprehensive because it deals with healing from the inside out, understanding that stress has its very key role in driving these issues, as well as what you're eating, as well as the daily pollutants, and really helping support, create a support system and a, um, a comprehensive program that helps you address all of those issues so that your body will, because your body does the healing, right? So that your body will right. um, kick in and do the job that God created it to do to be able to heal itself. That's a good point. So I take it as once we go with this lifestyle and we get the healing that we're looking for, um, we cannot revert back to eating, let's say, organic chicken or grass-fed beef. Uh, or is, first of all, food. that's a misnomer because it's all toxic. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's like literally if I took the, if I took, I don't care if they put organic from heaven. It's still inflammatory because it's not your, okay. it's not made for your DNA. Okay. It is still, no matter how organic it is, chicken is still going to be full of estrogen. Remember they're living things. They have, they have sexual organs. They have estrogen pumping through their bodies, whether or not they're wow. grass fed or they fed, they, they, they have steroids or, or antibiotics. They are still living beings and have the sexual organs, right? that they have the actual, right. like, th think about it. A cow, whether it's organic, it still has breast milk. That breast milk is still going through your meat. Understand that. Wow. And on top of that, your body still cannot break down that meat because it's, it, um. it causes inflammation without causing inflammation. So it's like someone who, you know, you, you remove the thing that causes it, but then you put it back. It's going to come back. That's a good point. Now, what is your suggestions on vegan restaurants? 
that's starting to pop up a lot out here in California. Sure. I mean, here's the deal. You're going to, it's going to be a learning curve for you. And you're going to basically, you're going to become the expert that knows number one, you're going to start reading all labels. You're going to read all menus and mm -hmm. we're going to help educate you in that process. Okay. And you know, you're going to build a network of people who are new and understand that, you know what, this is all about the lifestyle. That's why the accountability, the community, the support of the system is really important. Right. And then when you go to a vegan mm -hmm. restaurant, very first thing I look for, what are your soy free options, right? I look at what are the fruits and vegetables that I know are estrogen free, are not just um, plants, but actually estrogen free. And then from there, I make modifications all the time. Say, so, yeah, let's do it with this instead. Do you have this? Do you have hemp milk? Do you have this? Let's, let's switch this. You become the person because guess what? You're paying them for their food. You're paying them. You get to decide. I, I am the gatekeeper of what food's coming into my body. And this is what I'd like because I, this is for my health and make no apologies for it. Okay. Thank you. What's your thoughts on tofu? I don't know if you've ever spoke on that. Tofu is soy. You know, there is hemp tofu out there. It's, it's uh -huh. made hemp, which it's very rare to find. That's, which is, which is okay. All right. That's fine mm -hmm. because hemp is good for you, but any toy food is soy based outside of that. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you so much. You're very mm -hmm. welcome, Adrena. Um, who's next? Great speaking with you, my dear. You too. And do you recommend the detox for me or just trying to gradually change into the vegan lifestyle? Well, because you're, I would recommend, honestly, the Hope Beyond Fibroids Elimination Program for you because you're, you're, sim, you're very symptomatic and you have numerous fibroids. I would recommend um, one of our aggressive programs for you. It really is about what works for your, you know, your budget and your lifestyle. But I would absolutely mm -hmm. recommend the 90-day program for you. Oh, yeah. they have that? I only know this, the 30, the 14, and the 7. No, those are just the detoxes. Hold on a second. I'm going to put this in here again. I put it in there earlier. Take a look at the packages, oh. all right? And let's okay. see what fits. I can tell you that... Um, um, that the, with the Hope Beyond Fibroids elimination packages, you know, depending on which package you have, has the coaching support system, you know, look at the different ones and see what fits. And then if you have questions, you can shoot me an email at admin at hopebeyondfibroids.com. Um, and again, I, okay. I apologize. I'm not sure what happened with the patient profile, but if you fill that out, that'll help me as well. If you fill it out again, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll do it again. All right, thank All right. you. All right, you're welcome. Um, all right, you back, Miss Adrena. And I'll come back to the next question. All right, we are wrapping up our time here, um, but I want to get to everybody. Fiji water, Natalie, is not is not it's not what it claims to be, unfortunately. So don't waste your money on Fiji water. Abundant life CHA water. Collodial silver, okay to use. I don't know what collodial silver is, but I can tell you that I don't, and I don't know what abundant life CHA water is. I haven't seen it in stores. The key thing when you look at these waters is look at where it says it's bottled. Okay, this is a this is empowering you teach a, teach someone how to fish. Look at where it says it's bottled. If it says it's bottled someplace where it's full of mountains and springs, place where there's running water, and it says bottled at that source then that's something to look at, okay? Because if it's something where it says bottled, you know, in the plains of, you know, someplace that's like Poland Spring and Aquafina, all of them, they're, they're, they're not good waters. Um, I think Tamara. Oh, nope. Let me see. Wanda, I answered. Tamara, are you unmuted? Hi. <laughs> oh, she was ready. Ready. She ready. All right. Hey, how uh, are you? Good, good. Um, so, okay, fibroids. Subserosal. Um, are you saying you only have one? Do you have a patient no, profile? No, I did it at? again. I did it again. It's not in my patient profile. I scrolled okay. down a little bit more. I put the whole. Okay, okay but I do want to look at your patient profile, too. For some, Do you have an email? Uh huh. M A. Let me put it. Hold on. Uh, Tenny. 
maybe not. Let me see. Joseph. Maryland. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hold on a second. There you are. All right. Largest one is nine centimeters, and how many altogether, roughly? Don't have no. Any see, that's that's what the doctor told me over the phone. But then when I got the actual results, the MRI mm -hmm. results, that's the okay. size of my uterus, which really upset oh, me. He told me that that that's was very my larger. Upsetting. Yeah. So now the largest one um, is seven point five. Okay. And I have mm -hmm. about five that they could count. The okay. largest seven point five. Then there's one that's four point seven. There's okay. one that's three. There's one at one point five. Okay. One at one point eight, and then they put multiple intramural ones. That's one point two or less. Okay. All right. And let me look at your symptoms. I also okay. have um, ovarian cysts. Okay. All right. That's a count. That's an additional issue. All right. And then what? What are your cycles like? Um, my cycles are anywhere from every 28 to 20, 26 to 28 days, every 28 to 26 days. They last only five days, but I do have, um, heavy bleeding and cramps like the first two days. I'm changing like every hour for the first two days. Yeah, that's, that's severe. Okay. And you put um, moderately, that's, that's not moderate. That's severe. <laughs> That's Again, it's what we've been taught to, to me. <laughs> I know, but that's not normal to health. Can I know. Um, so were you looking at, which package were you looking at? Because I would definitely recommend the gold program for you. Okay. Because of everything you're talking about here. And you, okay. have, you have some other inflammatory issues now with this, with this, this accident you had. Yeah. Yeah. I am. Are you taking, are you going to be, I know you had surgery. Are you going to be doing physical therapy for that as well? Yes. Um, the surgery went well on my neck. So I've been out for, well, I haven't been able to do physical therapy for, for at least for a month now. So after the follow up, I may have to do, um, another surgery on my lower back for another herniated disc. If it's the same procedure, then I'll be out on physical therapy for another month. So I have to wait and see in the follow up appointment, which is this week, what okay. is going to happen with my lower back. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I definitely, because of the size, because of the symptoms, and because of um, the additional complication of the cysts, I would recommend the GOAL program for you if that's within, you know, your scope of what you want to, what you can, you know, allocate right now, because mm -hmm. it's going to take time to um, eliminate the condition and um, consistency, support system, um, accountability. I, I can't tell you how much of a difference that makes in terms of the the testimonies we've had and what people say has made the difference for them to see the success that they see. Definitely. Now, I, I, I definitely think I'm going to need the goal because um, I've been a meat eater my whole life and I'm Jamaican and mm -hmm. everything's jerked, everything's curried, and I don't even know what vegetarian means. I'll be honest. With you. <laughs> and vegetarian is still has dairy. So vegetarian still has dairy. Okay, you can eat still that's eat dairy. Well, I can't even have dairy. I'm lactose well, intolerant, so well, barely. That, that's what your body's telling you. You're not supposed yeah. to. Kind of, none of us, especially people of color, are not supposed to eat dairy. I say that yeah. because we, we, re we react to it even more severely, okay? Yeah. But it's not. It, our body is inflam very inflammatory. Um, so here's the deal. You know, as I said to the sister earlier, you know, we will be closing out registration for our March goal group today. So if you want to get into that group, um, I would register today. Um, okay. You can shoot me an email at admin at um, hopebeyondfibroids.com letting me know that you're definitely registering. But once you register, you'll be in the system. But here's the deal. It may, even if it takes a few days to process, I'll know to put you in that wait list you and put you in the group. Okay? okay. So that's why you would sh shoot the email. Okay. And one other thing, the, um, the supplements. Mm -hmm. Now, once you finish the 90 days, you have to continue the supplements for the rest so of your life? It depends on where you, once you eliminate the fibroids, you will continue it as long as you're working to eliminate, okay? Okay. Once you complete, complete eliminating it, then we have, you would probably do like one of them, um, one of them specifically, which in, inhibits estrogen. It's like, it's, it'll be specifically to continue the inhibiting because estrogen is part of our regular, like it's in the, it's in the pollution that we breathe. It's, it's stuff that you have to inhibit on a regular basis. And your mm -hmm. dose may be once a day or something like that. It would change in terms of the dosage and how many. 
Okay. And then the other supplement, I don't remember the name, the fibrinogen, I think you said? Fibrogen. Mm -hmm. Fibrogen. Would you su also suggest that for, for me? Or? Well, here's the deal. It's, you said eight centimeters. You said... Um, 7.5, the largest. Right. What is, what's your timeline? Like, are you on a timeline? Some people, they, they, they're like, I need to accelerate this healing because I'm trying to get pregnant. Or I need yeah, to accelerate exactly. this because well, then exactly. I would. Exactly. I'm trying to get pregnant. We then recently I would, got married. And, I yeah. would definitely do the fibrogen just because it will help you accelerate the results. Okay. And that's additional to the price of the gold package. Well, there's a goal with the fibrogen available. We have, it oh. bundled, we have it bundled in it too. We have an option with it bundled. Okay. 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 Um, what else? That's, I think that's it. So yeah, I'll definitely email you today because I want to okay. get this started. Okay. Well, we're here for you, my dear. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. And let's see who's next. Pretty soon. All right. Um, to, I don't know who this is. Make sure I haven't missed anybody. Give me one moment. I'm just going back to see. Just talk to Tamara. Tamara, excuse me. Um, Do, 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 do. Sorry, I just want to make sure there's nobody I've missed in the meantime. So I'm back. All right. Because after I look for a new message, it takes me all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Next. I'm so sorry. One more quick question. This is Tamara sure. again. The, yep. ad, the email address is admin at holtbeyondfibroids.org or dot com? Dot com. Dot com. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Boy. All right. All right. Answer that. Um, Tawana, you asked about the veggies if they're on the clean 15. We still recommend them be organic because, um, unfortunately, just because they're conventionally grown doesn't mean that they don't have pesticides on them and you want them to be as pesticide free as possible. One of the ways you can test if something is really good um, to be bought non-organic, meaning conventionally grown, what you can do is um, take it, put it in a mason jar, okay, a glass mason jar, close the lid, and then put it in that, keep it in that mason jar for, fit, for um, 72 hours, and watch it to see if it develops fuzz, white fuzz on it. If it develops the white fuzz on it, then it has pesticides on it, and it's not organic, even if it meaning it's not it's not pesticide free. Okay, if or aromatase free, if it um, just withers, if it just browns, withers, shrivels, shrinks, then it's fine and it's good, and you can trust that um, conventionally grown. Okay, That's the organic test. And that's good to use, like if you want to buy stuff from farmer's market or food co-ops. Sometimes the local farmers are not able to spend the money to get the organic label, but they are, they are growing them um, organically. Uh, so you can test to see whether or not you can use their, you can buy their produce. All right. I think Tiffany might be next. Um, if you think I missed you, please let me know. Oh, someone, Galaxy 5. Nope. Nope, somebody else here. All right. A lot, I, I don't know who this is, but I'm going to message you. Please unmute yourself because it doesn't have your name. But your question is... <clears throat> If someone has lupus and MS is on the medication, would you recommend the detox 14 or 30? So we actually have a case of a woman who was dealing with a very severe case of MS who um, started the program. She started it with the detox 14 and her symptoms have completely reversed. Um, I don't know how severe your case is. What I would recommend is first 
to schedule a consult with one of our electric health doctors. And you can do that at www. Um, the detox now.com forward slash consult. When you click on that link, you will see a, an option to schedule um, if you're suffering from a chronic or, or um, pre existing condition to schedule a consult with one of our electric health doctors. Okay. And then they'll determine um, if, you know, the detox 14 or the 30, depending on all, you know, your entire situation, what is the best or if you should do another protocol. Okay. I think that that answered that question. Um, somebody asked a question, how do you handle goal group that doesn't cure within the time frame of the program? Remember, it's a lifestyle change. You're going to continue the lifestyle and your healing is going to continue. For instance, with Annalise Henry, who is one in our, in our goal program, she's the woman who eliminated the 50 fibroids. She was equipped and empowered to continue the lifestyle. And within, I think, her, she eliminated 50 fibroids in about six months um, and continued, has continued since that time to the point where, you know, she's, again, she's completely changed her life. Her symptoms, she has the happy period, all of that. Um, we do have additional support systems like the coaching circle that's here for you, um, for people who need support system outside of the goal group afterwards. If you want to continue the coaching, we have it in that form, and you can always just re-up the coaching. And of course, you know you, you can always you you continue to get the supplements that you need as you're working to eliminate the condition to cure it. Okay, Galaxy J five, would you like to unmute, please? Oops, sorry, I spelled please wrong. Are you there? Can you hear me? Let me see where you are. There, oh, is it J5 or J7? Oh, it's J, J, J7. Can you hear me? Oh, I tried to unmute you. It, it's not letting me unmute you for some reason. Maybe you can't speak. Okay, please, you can. All right, are you unmuted now? Hi. Like, there you are. Okay, awesome. I started to read your question, but I wanted to be ready to ask you um, to be able to answer your, to ask you questions for clarification. Yeah. All right. So it says you have 24. Uh, oh, you are 24. You suffer from PCOS. At the time you were in the middle teens. Sorry about that, sis. Don't have a period now. Have infertility problems because of the PCOS. Which program will start with okay um no side effects i recommend um you're 24 years old are you are you trying to get pregnant now um yes please try to okay so um i would recommend the um you said you don't have a cycle the woman who actually is uh who just had a baby just had a baby was a pcos miracle pregnancy um if you watch did you watch our testimonials did you, did, did you complete a patient profile, sis? What's your email? Yes, I did. What's your email address? Can you chat it to me, please? Yes, please. I'm looking for your email. Um, we do the, we decide on zone three, who's asking me about the goal group. We decide as a group when we're going to start the gal, the, um, we're going to start the detox. Some, some women actually start the detox right away because their, their symptoms are so severe. Um, but as a group, if we want to do it as a group, we decide together when we're in, we start our sessions. Rashida, right? I got your patient profile up. Um, this no menstrual cycle okay and you're dealing with high blood pressure are you on any medication for high blood pressure at this moment no i'm not i'm trying to to not get so much meds and use like normal stuff like vegetables and stuff 
Well, the, I could tell you that in the program, many people have reversed just by doing the program. They reversed their um, high blood pressure. So that's that's a very helpful thing. I would. I'm looking at your case. I would recommend the Hopi on fibroids elimination silver program for you. This. Rashida. Hi. Yeah, you have wind in the background. I said, looking at your case, I would recommend the Hope Beyond Fibroids Elimination Program, the silver package for you. Yeah. You heard me? Yes, we look at you. Okay. That's what I would recommend for you. Did you have another question? The wind in the background is a problem. Okay. I can't hear you anymore, so I'm going to... Rashida? Hi. Did you hear my recommendation? Yes, please, I did hear. Okay. All right. Did you have any other questions? No, please. Okay. Awesome. We're here for you. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um, there we go. All right, like, let's see who is left. All right. Tamara, you asked if you registered for March. Oh, I answered your questions. If someone I answered that has lupus, the doctor left a voicemail asking me to start the process to remove my breast and ovaries. It wasn't available when I called back with questions. Why would they tell you to do that? Can you answer that question? What are they saying was the diagnosis? Okay, sorry, I was having to unmute. Um, family history of breast cancer. Mm -hmm. So that I had to take a new, I took a BRAC test years ago that came back negative. So there was this new genetics test out um, that my doctor, my breast specialist wanted me to take. So I took the test. There was a couple of variances that were new. So based off of these variances, she wanted me to have my breast and ovaries removed. You got so a couple that, of other opinions. But I'm that, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Let me hear the rest first. Yes. Yeah, so when I went to, um, I had like three other opinions and they said, absolutely not. I agree um, completely. Absolutely. Yes. Number one, the biggest issue is that cancer is, here's the big deal. Cancer is actually not genetic. Okay. That's number one. Mm -hmm. It is, it is passed on through um, hereditary um, practices. Okay. Cause it's, it's through lifestyle. All right. So, Many times something is very rampant in, in a family because, because of what you guys typically, the way you process stress, the way you eat, it's what's been your genetic, your, it's not genetic, it's what's been hereditary in your lifestyle. And the biggest thing is that the estrogen dominance is actually the, the root cause, okay? So if the estrogen dominance is the root cause and they cut off, they remove the breasts and they remove the ovaries, they're actually still not dealing with the root cause. Mm -hmm. So our focus is actually dealing with the root cause to prevent it. Okay. 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 All right. So number one is don't, don't let doctors get you reactionary when the truth is you're still in a place to actually cure, help your body cure itself and prevent it. Okay. And that's what she did. She got me very, what she played on fears that I already had anyway. Right. Thinking at some point I would have to have these things done. And then when she said it, of course it sent me in a tailspin. Of course it did. Of course it did. There's no question. I, I, I can imagine that. I can only imagine that. But, uh, you know, again, our thing is, but that still would not deal, that still would not heal the actual the issue. issue, which is the root issue, right? Then it would just go to another area of your body. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. Very welcome. All right. Um, let's make sure I'm answering all the questions. All right. Anybody who hasn't been, who's asked a question, raise your hand. That will actually draw me to your question. You can raise your hand in the chat. That draws me to it quicker. Two fibroids, 5.2 centimeters, 4.1, heavy cycles, anemic, getting IV infusions. What do I recommend? Um, do you have a patient profile already completed? What's your email? 
You, no, not yet. You didn't do your patient profile? Okay. Um, no. All right. So I'd like to see it so I could get a fuller picture. Like, for instance, you said heavy cycles. I want some detail on that. Um, what kind of, how do you deal with your stress? Like, what kind of spiritual input do you have? You know, are you, uh, what, what kind of spiritual affiliation do you have in terms of your way of dealing with stress? Because that's a big deal. Um, some people are faith-based people, but even in their faith, they're very stress-motivated because of the way they process basically living by faith. And that's a very important thing that we address as well. Um, so can you tell me a little bit more about your case? Sis? Hello? Oh. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. I think I'm not very stressed. Mm, you're breaking up. Um, I'm not very, um, uh, I'm not really religious. Mm -hmm. But what is your, so here's the thing. People think stress is anxiety and fear, but it can just be a high pressure lifestyle that pumps your body with cortisol on a regular basis. Yeah. As far as stress, that would be not yeah, what you just said, but I'm, I don't have much stress. Okay. But I can go ahead and fill out the well, no, information no, no. that you want that, to do. Well, that, that helps me because I want to answer your questions. Um, okay, so what all would you need me to put in? Well, no, I'm, I'm, you're, I'm asking you questions as we talk right now, right? So okay. you're helping to answer the questions. You said you're bare. What are your symptoms like for your cycle? I have the heavy bleeding and I have clots. Clotting. How heavy is the bleeding? How often are you changing? And is that with a you know, a heavy pad, a, you know, the, the large pad. How frequently are you changing? How many days is that? Well, I, I don't even think I make it up to an hour. It might be from 30, 45 to an hour. I'm not even sure. I just know that I need to get up and run to the bathroom because I feel like I'm getting ready to flood. Wow. Okay. So I would recommend for you um, the silver package with the anemio. All right. I would get the anemia because that's an iron supplement. And um, because you need to accelerate it, I would do the one that comes with the anemia and the fibrogen because the quicker you accelerate the results, the sooner you'll get a relief from your symptoms. Okay. Okay? All righty. Okay. You're welcome. Um, let me get you back. Can you mute? And I'm not able to mute you for some reason. There we go. All right. Last couple of questions. All right. Natalie suing the platinum. Yes, at the platinum is one on one. Mm -hmm. Live in Macon, Georgia. Okay. Um, well, I mean, there would be video sessions like this, but they are one on one. Um, if you're interested in the platinum, Natalie. Okay. Um, Tiffany. Yeah, I think I'm coming to your question next. I'm glad. Thank you. Um, oh, actually, I think you came up a couple of times here. All right. So, Tiffany, can you unmute? Um, systemic enzymes, like the probiotics, no. Everything you'll need is in the supplements that you're going to be taking and the foods that you'll be eating. Oh, okay, you cannot speak. All right, we'll do it by chat, Tiffany. If I could go through the program while using a drug called Fibristol. Mm -mm. So here's the deal. That's a synthetic drug, and um, we, wouldn't add, we wouldn't recommend doing our protocol with any synthetic drugs because that's counterintuitive. Okay. Um, and most drugs that the doctors put you on temporarily reduce the fibroids, um, usually for preparation for surgery. What we're helping you do, our focus is helping you to actually eliminate the root cause that stops, that starves them from growing and actually eliminates, um, attacks and eliminates the, the actual um, fibroids. And then um, for your body to prevent them from returning because the root cause is no longer there. Okra is great, absolutely. 
sweet potatoes. There are purple sweet potatoes. You can eat those. And they're purple through and through, not just on the outside. Um, you also said you're going to start IV on Wednesday for anemia. Yeah, we have an IV iron, we, not IV iron, we have a natural iron supplement called Anemio. IV iron is going to be synthetic iron. We don't recommend it because it can be coming from a pig snout or, you know, a, a, what do you call it, a, a bull, cow, whatever it is, swine. But the bottom line is, so you're getting the toxins from that animal in that, that they, where they got it from. What are natural iron supplement it's it actually causes your body to produce the iron that you need so that there are no negative side effects <coughs> it's called anemia now if your if your body is so low right now i don't know what your iron level is so tiffany maybe you need to tell me that um do you have heavy periods for normally one day but no other symptoms three fibroids the largest being eight centimeter which is pretty large 60 6.5 is that what you're saying your blood count is hemoglobin is 6.5 please confirm that tip 7.1 hemoglobin okay so that's low um that is low are you feeling how are you feeling are you do you having chest palpitations are you having severe headaches? What kind of symptoms are you experiencing? You feel fine. Okay. Then I would start, you're dealing with fibroids that are, you said one that is larger. Let me go back to your largest one being eight centimeters. Did you, did you complete a patient profile, Tiffany? That would help me since I can't ask you back and forth questions. Yes, what email address did you use, please? So I can pull up the patient profile. Okay, let me look it up real quick. Okay, Marshawn, Marchin or Marshawn maybe? Yes, okay. Yeah, so. Three fibroids, one is eight centimeters, not sure the size of the others. Anemia, bloating, traditional diet, and the doctor wants to put you on Fibristol. Okay, so I would recommend um, three fibroids, large one being eight, very symptomatic. Um, your hemoglobin is 7.1. I would recommend the, um, the fibroid elimination program, Silver with the um the anemia you said your your chain your your heavy day is one day um, but you're anemic so that means you're bleeding bleeding very heavily so i would do the one with the fibrogen and the anemia if you can or just do the silver package and get the anemia additionally okay any other questions tiffany So the silver package with either anemia, just adding that, or fibrogen and anemia. Fibrogen is going to help accelerate the eliminating. You did start the drug. So I would, you know, again, those drugs are going to be, unfortunately, pumping your body with toxins as well. But if you've committed to it and you really feel like you should do it, then once you finish that course, I would recommend starting it after that. Okay. Any other questions? And how long does the doctor say he wants you on that drug, Tiffany? Three months, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't do it. I would stop it, honestly. Three months on a drug that's, just, did he say that it's permanent shrinkage? Because they can't promise, I promise you that. No, they did not mention that at all. Yeah. Yeah, I would stop it because it's pumping. It's, it's actually going to be exacerbating the issue because it's synthetic.
um, the silver package with the fibrogen and the anemia. Rashida, I think it was Rashida, but who just asked that question. I believe that's it. Let me just look at your case again. Are you Rashida Galaxy J57, J7? Yes, okay. Um, silver package, <clears throat> but not, you, you know, you could do, you said cysts and you haven't had a cycle in a while and you're trying to accelerate it because you're trying to get pregnant, correct? Yes. I would do the one with the fibrogen, fibrogen, and you're not bleed, you're not bleeding. You don't need the anemia, so I would just do the one with the fibrogen, the silver with the fibrogen. Okay, all right. This would. Okay, you're welcome. Um, ooh, Natasha. Okay, Natasha. Let me see what your what your. You're trying to raise your hand, but I see, I think you might be the last question. Natasha here, I missed you. Okay, I'm looking. I'm sorry, Natasha. I apologize. I'm glad you brought that to my attention. I'm trying to look for your messages, okay? Do you want to unmute? Because that, that may be better. All the way up. Oh, no, I missed you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please unmute, okay, so that we can talk and make the most of the time we have left. Okay, I'm here. There you are. Okay, I'm looking for your question. It's all the way up, but I could I could be verbal with you. It's fine. It's fine to be verbal. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, did you do a patient profile? Because that will be. I did. Helpful. I did. Okay. York yes. period Natasha at gmail .com. One more time. York period Natasha. I type it in. See, I didn't know the E at the end. Ah, uh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm glad. That's why I say to email it because it wasn't coming up. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm not fibroid related and I feel kind of bad. I just have... Um, no, I don't feel bad. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Disease prevention is the best ever. Okay. <laughs> You're dealing with high blood pressure? Yes. Um... Like within the last two years, my blood pressure will kind of escalate, but when I'm really stressed, right. and my doctor doesn't really think that I have, but he did put me on the Cinepril because I don't know how to control my stress levels, which I, I completely know about that. Okay. But the thing is that I went to a, um, a radiologist, I don't know, I'm probably saying it wrong, and she was just telling me that I was severely deficient in um, mineral deficient, and she was telling me like potassium and magnesium. And my iron is low. Um, my doctor did give me the pills. Um, I don't really take them because I don't like taking pills. Mm -hmm. And I, um, for the most part, I'm on a plant-based diet. Um, mm -hmm. But I do have like 98% of the time. Like last Christmas, I had some chicken. And last weekend, I had some chicken because I feel really bad. Like I feel like I'm going to pass out when I eat. Like I'm going to literally pass out. Like I get really bad headaches. Um, I have a tummy so, um, Wait, but you have, you have, when you eat, when you say, tell me that again, I don't understand what you're saying. You feel well, really I, bad when you eat because of what? Well, like I don't eat, I, I don't eat, um, I try to be on a plant-based diet. Mm -hmm. So I do take in a lot of beans with the chickpeas and the black beans. And I heard what you said about the turtle black beans because I was mm -hmm. taking those. Mm -hmm. um, chickpeas are estrogenic as well, just so you know. Yeah. Oh, you think so? Oh. No, they are, it's not think, it's, uh, chickpeas are estrogenic. Okay, because you know what happened? And my, like, whenever I eat the beans, like my tummy gets really big. Yeah, but you're probably not soaking them. They're not. I all, do, all, see, I, do you soak them for 20, do you soak them for 24, 48 hours? I recently started doing that, soaking them for 28 hours. Because I eat curry chickpeas all the time. I'm also Jamaican. Mm -hmm. and, but I do a lot of cabbage. I do, um, I saute like. Um, what kind of cabbage? You need to do the purple cabbage. Oh, I do the green cabbage. That's inflammatory. Yeah, it's going to be inflammatory. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's my thing. Okay. So I really wanted to take a blood. I know I'm anemic or, mm -hmm. you know, I'm borderline or, mm -hmm. you know, that's probably why I get the headaches and yep. um, why I feel like I'm going to pass But are you bleeding? Why, why are you anemic? Well, even my son is 12, but even prior to that, I was told that I was borderline. Um, I don't have a heavy cycle because even with the plant-based diet, I might leave like three days. 
and that's not even a lot. And I, you know, and I use natural um, mm -hmm. pads. How, how often are you having to change? Um, maybe like every two hours, two, three hours. And I use um, Nature Care, Nutri Care. The so every two hours is frequent. See, the biggest thing is the estrogen. Yeah. The biggest thing is that's a heavy cycle. The biggest oh. thing is that you have estrogen in your diet. That's why it's, you're, you don't have to have fibroids to be estrogen dominant. Okay. Oh. So, yeah. The, fi the estrogen, remember, the, the fibroids are symptoms. You, the root cause, the root disease is there. It's already there. Okay. Oh, and that's wow. why you're dealing with the symptoms you are. All right. So the biggest thing is to, um, I would do the fibroid elimination. Um, here's the deal where you are right now. You want to check, check, change your blood pressure. All of these things are going to change. Um, when you, number one, you need, to, you need to address the stress issues as well. So I would definitely do the coaching circle because the coaching circle is all about focusing on helping you to, um, to transition to the lifestyle, but also to reduce your stressors so that you, um, so that you actually support the healing of lifestyle. Okay. The yeah. lifestyle of healing. Well, that's okay. a big deal. Excuse me. Because many women, excuse me, are, um, they are the go-to and their jobs on their homes, on their businesses and their families. And, um, and pressure is just comes with the lifestyle, but they don't know how to, they don't know how to um, reduce those stressors. And that's what we equip, equip you with as well in the, in the coaching circle. Okay. So with you, I would, you're doing more, you have to cure the estrogen dominance as well as you're trying to, you know, you, so you're preventing, but you have to cure the root condition that's causing the, this constant bloating. Um, it's, ca it's causing the, the inflammation that you're dealing with on a regular basis. Yes. Okay? Yes. Um, so I would do the fibrillination kit and you could start with a month of the coaching circle, see how you like it, see how, if it's effective for you and then determine if you want to continue it from there. So this is my question. Um, I wanted to know, because I saw about the consultation with the doctors, and mm -hmm. I don't mind paying the three or $400 to see them, but would that be just for the consultation, or would I have to still get the kit? I will still have to get No, the that would, that, that's, if you have a condition specifically where it's more than what we're talking about, then we recommend uh -huh. the consultation with the doctors. But, yeah. you know, you're not on medication. You are on the high blood pressure medication yeah. right now, but is your pressure, is your blood pressure erratic? Like, it's, does it shoot up? Okay, so to be when honest, you don't I don't take your medicine. Take, yeah, I don't always take it. So I take it when I feel, because my doctor even told me that I could take it every other day because he's like, I don't think you have it. I just think that you just get so... You're not managing it, right? My, yeah, stress. my stress. And so even with that, I think my anxiety came on because I was feeling so bad. I would go to the doctor and he's like, you're perfectly fine. And I'm like, mm -hmm. no, I'm not fine. I feel horrible. Yeah. Right. So I think over the, I mean, I'm not blaming on that, but over a period of time that my blood pressure started getting spiking. Of course. So I was complaying about, you know, feeling of tired, course. feeling going to pass out. And they were like, oh, you're fine. Your blood, your blood work is fine. So I was wondering if you guys do any kind of blood work that will see stuff. Like I've read that there's certain, there's other blood tests that you can take that will see when something is starting versus from when it's really advanced. Well, that's honestly, you would get the blood test from your PCP. Okay. The consultation is virtual, okay, okay. Unless, unless you are locally based. But the point okay. is, what, I would recommend, what we would recommend is you get a monitor to use at home. They have, I, we have, I have a blood pressure medic, um, monitor, and I, I use it at home. And you just okay. take, what you do is as you, as you now transition to the new lifestyle, you'll start to take your blood pressure at home, and then you'll be able to monitor it for yourself, okay? okay. Um, and the biggest thing is, again, as you start to use your food as your medicine and as the supplements help you eradicate the estrogen dominance together with the food and the lifestyle, as well as the coaching to help you with the stress management, you're going to see a whole new life. Okay. So the thyroid elimination would be what kit. you recommend. Right. The four ounce okay. kit and the coaching circle for, you know, again, you can start off with one month and see how effective it is for you. And I, I thought about buying the iron thing that you guys have, because I know that my iron is well, low. Well, if your iron is low now, I would definitely do the anemia. No okay, question. So go ahead and get it. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Um, thank All you right. so very much. You're back. welcome. You. You're welcome. I'm sorry that I, again, it, there's a lot coming in at the same time. So. I understand. I just so want to make sure it. that, you know, I had to speak up. That's why. Oh, yeah. That's why I said raise your hand so I can see if I've missed you. So I'm glad okay. you spoke up. Good stuff. Thank you. All right. Last question. If I didn't get anybody, um, please let me know now. Yeah. Natural pads um, are on Amazon and Whole Foods. Um, just 
if you Google natural pads, Honeypot is a brand. Cherish pads is one that was, you know, um, marketed a while, a lot. The biggest thing is finding what feels comfortable for you because some people feel like certain brands are too thin for them. They don't, they just, it's about comfort. And of course that they're natural, that they don't have the dyes and the, the dioxin, the, the chemicals that, um, that actually, you know, stimulate bleeding. Okay. All right. I think I got everybody. If there's anyone I've missed, um, please let me know. But otherwise, I think I have um, the silver package is right at um, on the, the all the packages are at the detox now.com. In fact, I'll give you the direct link to this to the actual thing. One second. The detox now.com. And if you go to the shop, I'll put the actual link in there. Somebody is I'm just there we go. Okay. Um go to the shop and go to here. I'll give you the direct link. That's what I'm trying to, sorry, I had so many things open. Yes, the foods in the program will help to drive a very healthy lifestyle. So, okay, I already said that. All right, so the actual link to the Hope Beyond Fibroids elimination packages are right here. I'll give you the direct link and you can get the silver, whatever variation I recommended for you in that. Okay. Um, you can go to at any of those health food stores, that, you know, Whole Foods, Sprouts, the, fire, the um, Farmer's Market in DeKalb, um, Sevenanda. I'm in New York, but Sevenanda I know about because um, a lot of people speak about that. All right. So everybody, I think I, if, please let me know if I've missed you. I think I've answered all the questions and um, it's been my pleasure. I just want to make sure I got everybody. And um, please know that we are here to help you unleash your power to heal and to um, really live a lifestyle of healing. That's, that's our passion. That's our commitment um, to, to, um, to partner with you on that journey. Okay? Looking forward to doing so, being a part of your journey of healing, and um, pray that you have a great rest of the day. Take care. Bye-bye. Awesome.